Charlie, congratulations on, on, on Xylophone as well. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, we had, uh, you, I, I'm sure you've had the interview that we just yes. played as well. Yes. 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 Um, yes. Your initial reactions to it? Um, first of all, Stone Boy as an artist is still a Xylophone recording artist. I mean, there's, there's no dispute about it. Um, and I remember on March 13th, there, there was a release by, by, by or from the label which actually outlined all the celebrities or personalities under the brand. And Stone Boy's name was in there. On March 23rd, there was another release uh, which actually specified that if there's any organization, firm, or entity that would want to engage Stone Boy as an artist, the person or that firm must seek the consent and approval of xylophone music. That directive still stands. So as far as we are concerned as a label, Stone Boy is still signed to us. He's a recording artist under our label, and we are still working with him. But um, with the kind mm. of comments he's making, mm. like what we just, uh, you know, heard him say yeah. um, to Andy Dusty, yeah. uh, they tend to differ from exactly what uh, mm. that the label's mm. standing is. Um, yeah. Is there any particular issue with Stone Boy and the label? Um, I, I, w- I would be blind if, if, I, if I do state or if I do state that there, there's no issue between Stone Boy and the artist. Um, and, and the label and the artist do recognize the problems. And so over the period, the legal team of Xylophone Music and Stone Boy's team have been meeting to actually resolve the seeming issues that, 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 that transpired between the two entities. And so we we were actually taken aback, very much surprised that he went ahead of himself to actually grant that interview. Well, interview that's okay, but to actually make those statements to the effect that well, if you need to book me, come to my manager and blah blah blah. Because we've been meeting. I mean, his team and our legal team have been meeting on several locations to actually, you know, find solutions to the senior problems that persist between the two entities. And so for us, we sit here and and, and are very much surprised with, with those declarations that he made. Um, Arnold, could it be that uh, oh. the, the label is not giving uh, Stoneboy that much needed support compared to maybe other label mates or, you know, um, well, in music sense, his uh, rival, Shatawale? I, I, I am not too sure about that. I mean, like I said, there's, there's, there's been meetings and he, he those issues, if, if he, he, has, he, has, he, has, he has made them known, are, are being resolved. But I'm not too sure about it. What I can state for a fact, for the two entities, our legal team and his team, have been meeting. And uh, as far as we are concerned, the, the meetings and deliberations have been going on smoothly. And so for him to actually leapfrog everybody else and make those statements, uh, it's, it's a bit mind-boggling. Well, um, if if you've paid attention like we have, oh. we've realized that oh. Stone Boy refuses to actually uh-huh. talk about xylophone music, oh. but oh. talks about Nana Apia Mensa uh, oh. as a person. Okay. Uh, could it be that somebody at xylophone is in particular the problem i do not know as far as i am concerned as the communication director for the for the label <laughs> we have a contract with with with, with, with the artist uh stoneboy has no contract with an apia mensa and so whatever deliberations and discussions we have are supposed to be between the artist and the label what personal relationship with, with he has with an apia mensa uh, concerns me not or concerns me less i'm much more particular about the contract or the agreement that persists or exists between the label and the artist. Aren't any of the pronouncements he, he's making uh, a breach of his contract in, in any way? Well, and, and that is why um, we, 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 we have also given this to, to our legal team. I mean, led by Kwame, Dr. Lawyer, Kwame Boafe Kufu. And with time, we are, we are going to issue a statement in regards to the, the, the latest you know, declaration by Stone Boy because we believe as a label uh, it's, it's important that uh, we, we respect contracts, we respect the responsibilities that both parties have in, in, in the contract. And so okay. we, we, you guys will hear from our legal team. All right. Arnold, many thanks for talking to us. Thank you very much. Sir. Okay. That was Anod Asamwa Bedu, the PRO or the communications manager of Xylophone Music. Quick,